You wake up early, milk the cows, stack the bales and mop your brow. You tend the herd and fix that roof. Breathe in the air, recalling your youth. The day is racing, the work gets harder. You work all day to fill your larder and the day races on and on and on. In a farmer's life, the risks are many. You risk your life to earn a penny. Your machines need oil to work the soil and the day races on and on and on. You deliver the food, you look after your brood. You repair what is broken, strong words can be spoken. And the day races on and on and on. Imagine for a moment if you were gone. Who would make your farm carry on? Who would fill your boots as the day races on and on and on? The UK's farms are the most dangerous workplace in the UK. You're six times more likely to be killed on a farm than you are on a building site. This is something that we're looking to address through campaigns like Farm Safety Week. The current generation of farmers have been taking risks day in, day out, and have been very lucky to get away with it. So what we're trying to do is get the next generation to start to bring the good behaviours into the industry, to normalise good practice, and think, how can I keep myself safer and the people that work with me safer? To get conversations moving about farm safety, we're actually out in colleges delivering training to 4,500 students. We want to talk to them on social media because that's where a lot of our young farmers are actually integrating and engaging with people. And it does start to get conversations going. It's too high, it's unacceptable, it has to stop. It should not be the most dangerous occupation in the UK. It's about raising awareness of farm safety, it's about challenging and changing the behaviours of young farmers. We take them outside onto farm and we've mocked up scenarios from real life accidents. And then we run through with that like a CSI type scenario. So what happened here? What would you do? When we bring them back into the classroom and they have somebody standing there that has experienced one of those accidents, you can hear a pin drop as I said, and it's amazing. And you know that you're hopefully embedding health and safety into the future generation of farmers and hopefully saving lives and reducing the amount of accidents, then it makes everything you do worthwhile. To have a positive, even if it's just one positive, if one person goes home and thinks about uh, what they do on farm uh, and changes their behaviour, then my job's done. Farm Safety Week is the one week in the year that we can bring five countries together to share these good messages it's the key stakeholders, it's the organisations, it's the farmers themselves and it's the government all working together on one collaborative project to hopefully start to make a change. The majority of accidents are happening in older farmers, farmers over the age of 40, farmers that have been doing this every day for many, many years. They need to realise that every single job they approach will be slightly different. Just because they've done it the same way for 40 years does not mean that it can't go wrong this time. Farmers have to realise that it is their responsibility. In the most recent Voice of the Farmer research, 68% of farmers are aware of Farm Safety Week. This is great. Awareness is one thing. What we need now is action, real action. Mind Your Head campaign is something that we brought last year out into the public domain, getting people to realise that farmers need help and there are so many wonderful organisations out there that can help them. Mental health is a topic of growing issue in the UK in general, but in farming it's something that's concerning us greatly. One in four people in the UK have suffered some sort of mental health issue and it's something that we need to address because it's so linked to the side of farm safety as well. Agriculture is very similar to other industries in that they're suffering anxiety, depression, but there are also elements such as bulimia, post-traumatic stress disorder, things like that that are also affecting the industry as a whole. There are a lot of debt problems in farming. People have to take out large loans to buy equipment. And this is an industry that is full of people that work all day long. And unfortunately, they do not have a chance to rest. Where they live is also where they work, so there's no escape from it. They're feeling isolated. They feel like there's nobody to talk to. When things get tough, 
UK farming comes together and we support each other and every single one of us has a collective responsibility in looking out for each other. We did some research into young farmers under the age of 40. 84% um, of them told us that they considered mental health to be the biggest hidden danger in farming at the moment. 85% also told us that there's a direct link between farm safety and mental health and that's why we're doing this campaign. We find that actually creating videos that tell real stories and relatable stories for farmers have so much more impact than just giving them facts and figures. We need to find something that a farmer will identify and say, actually I could have done that myself, that actually affects me and that's all we want to do. We want to get farmers to do something, to change and to think about the impact mental health will have on their safety and their ability to do their job. We have the most amazing farmers that put food on our plates every day. We want to save lives. We want to prevent these injuries. There's no such thing as a paper cut on a farm. If it's an injury, it's a big injury and it's probably a life-changing one. So we want to stop that. Simple. How's things with you? Family well. Fine. You? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Apparently it's Farm Safety Week this week. Is it really? What do we need that for? This whole focus on farm safety is over the top. That's right. I reckon it's young farmers that are the real danger. They just don't have the experience. I've been farming for years and I've never had an accident. Risk assessment. Total waste of time. A load of health and safety nonsense. What I can't stand is people telling me what to do on my own farm. Why would I want to wear a helmet on a quad? It's my land and I'm not a kid. Farms are not playgrounds. Farming isn't child's play. So let's grow up and face facts. Over the past year, there are signs that behaviours are improving and the number of farm workers losing their lives on our farms is decreasing, but the industry still has the poorest safety record in the UK, 18 times higher than any other. It's time to take safety seriously.